everybody, Big Beardy back again with another video. Hope we're all having a fantastic day. Before we start, just got to apologise if you can hear banging on the roof. Um, it's because it is hacking it down here. And it, it's, um, it's like being in a tin can. As you can see, I got a little bit wet. Got a little bit wet. Right, anyway, today, got a little bit of a story, a little bit of a question to answer. Because um, I got a message from a, a friend of mine saying he had this issue and if I knew how how I would have dealt with it or there's a way to deal with it. And that is the issue, the main question in question is being overloaded. Having too much stuff put on the back of your vehicle and then you being overweight and you being a bit of a pickle. Because if you get pulled over and you are overweight, you are in the shit. You're going to get points on your license, you're going to get a massive fine. Um, I don't know the extent of the punishment for being overweight. I don't know if it depends on how much overweight you are. But you will get a bit of an ass kicking. So you don't want to be overweight. The way I sort of combat this is I think I can carry about 1.2 ton. I tend to not take anything over a ton. I say tons my cut off. Um, so if I ever see a job come up and it's like 1.1, I, I just don't even bid on it. It's like for a couple of reasons. One, the weight issue. Two, it drinks your fuel. You will go through diesel lights to no tomorrow if you're um if you weigh more. And I just don't, don't want the hassle. Wear and tear on the vans a lot more as well. But anyway, so here's the situation he found himself in. Bit of a weird one, this. He's going to pick up, and I, if I remember correctly, he's in a Luton. But he's ba he works on the same sort of premise as me. Luton is actually, you know, around the ton anyway. But he doesn't take anything more than a ton. So he's been told, he tells them, can't take any more than a ton. They're like, yep, yeah, that's fine, not a problem. That's fine. You won't have any more than a ton on you. Turns up to the collection point. They start loading him. And I think he was meant to pick up like three pallets. And they load the three pallets, which were about a ton. That's what they said originally. That, well, the shipper has told him. Because it sort of goes from the warehouse or the, the customer to the shipper to the driver. So, you know, Chinese whispers sort of thing. And then they said, oh, we've got a load of um, beams we need to throw on you as well. Is that all right? And he stated that as long as I'm not over a ton, it's fine. They've thrown them on. And he's, he said it looked heavy. It looked heavy. The eye test, which isn't an exact test, but it looked heavy. And he was like, are you sure that's not over a ton? And he's asked him, according to him, multiple times, are you sure that's not over a ton? Because I can't take more than a ton. They went, I, and they assured him he's not over a ton. Right. Gets in the van, starts driving. And as he's driving, if you're heavy, you know you're heavy. Your brake distance will increase dramatically um, because, you know, Newton's laws or some stuff. If you're going fast with a heavy load, it will take you longer to slow down, all that sort of stuff. Mass and blah, 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 blah. Someone who knows physics will tell you better than I will. Um, you turn like a boat. <laughs> you can feel it in the vehicle. And he said he started driving. He got to the end of the... He got down the road and he was like, I think I'm heavy. So he did what I think was the sensible thing at that moment in time. He went to a weighbridge. Got himself weighed. Turns out, yes, he was overweight. I can't remember exactly how much he said he was overweight, but he said it was a significant more than he should be. It wasn't a couple of kilograms. It was, you know, a fair chunk. So he's phoned the shipper. The shipper he's done a lot of work for before has come out. They've moved some of the stuff to another van. And he's then underweight, gone and done his job. Fine. But he phoned me up saying this scenario to me, and he said... What would have happened if he had been pulled over between leaving the, the yard and getting to the, the Weybridge? The answer is simple. He would have got a fine. He would have got points on his license. He would have got an ass kicking. So he asked me the question, well, how do we stop this from happening? Because it, obviously if it's happened to him, it's happened to other people. So how do you stop getting overloading? Now, I don't have the perfect answer for this. Um, I don't know if there's a device you can get for your, your van, which you stick on the back or something, that weighs you. I don't I don't think that would be an app. I don't know how that would even work. But if anyone knows of something out there that you can put on your van that will tell you how much you've been loaded, and I know there are other ways, but you know, if anyone does know of that, let me know, all right? Put a comment, and what I might do is buy one, if there is one out there, and I'll review it for you. But I don't know there is. But we sort of went through this scenario and it's like, how would, we, how would you do it better so you don't actually leave the yard? So there's a couple of things you can do. Now, if you think you're too heavy, you, it puts you in a bit of a weird situation because you, 
You don't want to leave the yard, and you shouldn't. If you're overweight, do not leave the yard. If you know you're overweight, you're breaking the law, and put it this way, if you have an accident, and heaven forbid someone gets hurt badly, you're in a lot of trouble, especially if you're overweight. And we hit, see these cowboys driving around all the way all the time, and it's like, you fucking muppets. But it happens. But the, the weird situation you're in, or the one that's problematic is, it means you've got to phone the shipper and say, I'm not doing this job which puts you in a weird situation, because it might mean that you lose work. Now, personally, if I phoned a shipper and gone, I am overweight, I'm not leaving the yard, and he went, do it, or, you know, I'm going to kick, you know, whatever, and kicks off at me, two things are going to happen from my point of view. I'm never going to work for them again, because I'm, I'm not working for someone who wants me to risk my license, just so they're looking. My, my, you know, my long-term future is more important than this one job. And secondly... I would phone the CX or whoever, whichever platform I'm working through and I would inform them of the situation. So, and I'd say, put this on record. This is what's happening. So if he comes back and gives me a bad review or anything, I've got it on record that this was the situation. And it wasn't because I was doing anything wrong. It was actually because he was asking me to break the law. They're the things I would do, first of all. Now, the shipper, if you phone the shipper, gone, I'm overweight and he's... You want to work for a shipper, like, all right, fair enough. Let's resolve this problem and you resolve the problem. That's what you should do if you think you're overweight. Now, how do you know you're overweight at the yard? How can you sort of pre prevent this? I strongly believe that anyone who's loading you anything heavy should know the weight of the goods that are going on the back of you. And I, I use a couple of tricks. First of all, I ask them. I say, how much is the weight? And generally, they will tell you. Most good, decent uh, yard stuff. Because a lot of them have um, like scales on their forklifts. They know how much they're lifting. Or they... Forkies are good at their job. They know how much the weight is. One thing I tend to do is when the forky brings out, and if I see something and it's heavy, it looks heavy, I'll ask him. I had a situation where I had two pallets I was picking up, the exact same item. They were sat in the yard. And he picked the first one up and he put it on the back of the van. And I said, just before he put it on the back of the van, how heavy is that? And it, the reason I asked that, don't know, but I asked it in, in like I'm a curious sort of way. I'm a curious soul. But I would want to know how much it was because then I could figure out how much the whole load was. And he was like, oh, it's 400 kg or something like that. It's like, right, two of them, 800 kg, I'm safe. The best way to prevent problems in situations like this is yourself. Ask the questions. If you look heavy, ask the question. I've had it before when it, someone has loaded me and I've gone, I've look heavy. And I've said to them, how much is on there? And they've told me, I'm like, right, we're well, going to have to take something off because I'm overweight. Because the job that came through didn't tell me how much it weighed. It wasn't until it got put on and I sank right down. I'm like, oh, yeah, well, that's heavy. And then they told me. I've had other times when I've had that situation. I'm underweight. So that's why the eyeball test is a, is a bit of an average. You know, you, you look at it and you see it sink down. You don't know exactly the weight, but you can get a good gauge on how heavy your van is. So that's the sort of situation. So first of all, how do you prevent yourself driving out the yard heavy? I think you did the right thing because... Not that he drove out the yard, because at that point, but by going straight to the Weybridge. That was the smart move. So he did the right thing there. But in hindsight, he should never have left the yard. Yeah? But he's been assured that he is underway. And this is where the problem is. Because you have to... There's a degree of trust in our industry. If you think about it all over, it's a bit weird, because I often call our industry the Wild West. Because it's full of fucking cowboys. There's very few rules. Um, and there's plenty of people that are willing to fuck you over. But at the same time, there's some good guys out there. You get the Lone Ranger once in a while. But there is a degree of trust in the Wild West. For instance, when the shipper send a job to you, they're trusting that you're going to do the job to the best of your ability. You're going to go in there on time. You're not going to fuck them around. You're trusting that they're going to pay you when they are tell you they're going to pay you. Same thing when you get to the warehouse. The warehouse trusts that you're going to strap the thing down, you're going to look after it, and you're not going to damage their goods. But you're trusting that they're going to load it, the correct item, first of all, and that it's going to be within your parameters of what you can take on your van, i.e. the weight. So there's a great degree of trust there. But if you're if you're going to the saying to the bloke, how heavy is it? And he goes, oh, you're well under a ton. And you're like a ton and a half. That trust is broken. So there's no real good answer for this. This is the problem. How do you know? At, at what point do you find out? Because you can't, there's no scales on your van. So the, what I tend to do, if I see someone's heavy, I ask them how heavy it is. And um, if it's overweight, obviously take something off. But if they don't know the exact weight or can't even give me a fucking wheelhouse, then you need to have a discussion. 
And this is the only way you can guarantee it. You need to say to the bloke, listen, I need to know how heavy that is because it looks overweight. So you weigh it on your forks, because most forks nowadays, I believe, not forky, if anyone out there is a forky, I believe they have something on them that tells them the weight. I've never driven forks, actually. Never driven a forklift. I've, dri I've driven a telehandler and um, a digger and all that sort of stuff. I've never actually dri driven a forklift, like a factory forklift. Something I'm gonna to have to do, isn't it? <laughs> but um, yeah, I believe they can tell you. So if they if they can tell you on there, then if it looks overweight, you you need to know. You need to know uh, because, like I said, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to oh, um, you get pulled over by the the cops, or and you have an accident, the blame is solely on your shoulders. They're not gonna pay your fine for you. They're not gonna take the points for you. It's all on you. So you want to make sure you're being safe. And sometimes it's easier than others. So what I would do is when you get to the yard, ask them how much it weighs. Even if you have to be a bit cheeky in art the ask fork, oh, how much is that roughly? And then you can do the maths in your head. Um, and get an exact weight. And if you look overweight, don't be afraid to turn around and say, listen, I think I'm overweight. I need this checking. Now you, and like I said, you will get shippers that are like, just, that will go, just fucking take the load. What's the, what's the problem with you? If you get anyone like that, just don't work for them again. Because <laughs> I wouldn't. If, if a ship is asking me to break the law so they can get their ship from A to B, because they're because at the end of the day, they're the ones being cheap. They're the ones that are not willing to send in a second vehicle. That's that's the, the crux of it. The reason why they want you to take it is so they can make more money. I'm not playing that game. That game it does not fly with me. So if, if I ever had it, I've never had that situation. If a shipper ever went, listen, take the load or, you know, there's going to be issues. I'll be like, right, let there be issues. Bring it on. I'm not fucking playing that game. So I ask for the weight. But this is, this is, it's one of us, there's no good answer. There's no correct answer because we don't know exactly. So if anyone does know of something you can put on your van or a way of actually weighing the stuff that goes on your van, let me know. I know, I know that, you know, you could get some sort of crank scale and actually lift the thing, but then how do you lift? I, I don't know. I don't actually know. But let me know and I'll buy one. Stick it on my van and I'll review it if there is something like that or if anyone knows of anything that would work. Because at the end of the day, we're not talking about weighing, you know, a bag of sugar. We're talking about weighing up to a ton. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you do it. Let me know in the comments down below. Right. Thank you for listening. That's uh, that's the overload problem. Should I call the video that? I might call it the overload problem. Um, let me know what you think down below. Have you ever had this situation? Have you ever had a situation where you think you're overweight or you're not overweight or whatever it may be? Let me know so we can discuss this and figure out a way of solving it so drivers don't get fucked in the future. That's what we're all about here at Big Beardy. Hell yeah. I've been the Big Beardy one. You've been awesome. Be safe out there. Have a great day.